Hey, orange one here. So in this video, I want to show off troop tiers and troop trees, just kind of show you in game some options on how to develop your troops. Um, because if you're like me and you're just playing the game, when you're, you've got troops and you're trying to figure out how to upgrade them, a lot of times people just kind of do it randomly, just kind of to play with it. Um, and it's, you want to be a little bit more careful with that because there's some combinations and some units in the game that are very, very nice. And I'll explain how you get those best units. Each faction has a special tree called, I've heard it called a noble tree. Um, there's a couple different names for it. Um, it's basically their, their special units. So if you go to like a village here, so if I go to like uh, Tasheba and I try and recruit some units, um, basically most of them are going to be tier one and then as you get these guys to like you more you'll get access to more people and you can get access to higher tier units um for the most part though these guys are all going to be part of the same development tree which starts from the recruit and kind of branches out from there like melee um this one goes melee and that specializes more like uh ranged melee and then some cavalry and melee the Sari are kind of weird like that though. Most of the troop trees are a little bit more, um, I would guess you would say traditional in a sense where this one, they go melee and then um, ranged over here. And then these guys, all the melee specialties are over here and then you've got your range, your um, cavalry and your range. So the Sari are just kind of a, a little different um, in how they lay things out. But what's unique um for some of the units that you'll find in these villages is that sometimes you'll find these things called asari youth and they have their special train so if you look at the tier next to the units um you can first of all you can look at the units and see all their stats um it's pretty pretty cool seeing exactly what their wages are and all that that stuff but you can look and see that these guys get to tier six so they're like the best units in the game basically in terms of being the highest level. Um, whereas if you look at like, um, you know, this guy's a part of that special tree. If you look at like most of these guys, they cap out at tier five. So for the Sari here, you can specialize down these different paths, but you end up getting these different units here. The Sari, they're kind of more of a general uh, faction where they don't really excel at anything in particular. They're good at everything. Um, they they do have very fast cavalry though, so that you can use that to your advantage to just kind of run around people. Uh, so like these guys right here, super, super fast. And then also um, the youths, if we look at the Asari youth, um, let's go here. Like these guys, they've got, they're a little bit more like heavy cavalry, but they are really good units too. Not to be underestimated with those javelins. Um, so let's kind of look at a couple different factions. And um, also I want to show you what these guys actually look like in here. As you can see, these are all recruits. The tribesmen are not what I'm hoping to find. It's just a jump between some villages till we actually find them. It's not going to be too long. They're not that, that rare. But I just kind of want to show you what I mean. Um, look, the Azurai youth right there. So there's a couple here where this guy's got access to them. He's even got the tribal horsemen. So this dude right here, he's got access to the, the nice ones. Um, so yeah, you kind of want to go around. I, I don't know if it was him being important, if that had any connection to him having the special units. But... Uh, yeah, it's, it's just kind of something where you want to go around between all the villages is what I've seen and what other people have told me is if you just kind of jump between the villages, you can find them here and there. And these are, you know, always pick them up whenever you can. And if you can pick them up instead of the other ones, do that, you know. Um, also, if you want to get to the encyclopedia, I think I explained this. I was right clicking on the units to get to the encyclopedia page for them. But you can also get to that encyclopedia by just pressing N. And then you can search it. Uh, you can like go in through this way. And then you can 
kind of limit things a little bit more. Um, so we've kind of used this already as an example, so I'm not going to spend too much more time on them. And we're just going to kind of work our way up the list. So Batania here, so if we look at the, their trees here, um, the Batanians, they're essentially Celts. So they um, are going to excel at shooting with bows. Um, and so they've got their um, units. They've got a number of pretty good units here. But um, their best unit is, it's really weird. It's their only archer tree is their noble tree. But if you go to the battalions and you go to the highborn youths, uh, these guys, they're their only archers. But they are by far the best archers in the game. Like, if you want to know the meta right now, go for uh, Fians or Fians. I, I know that I should know how to pronounce it because I am Celtic myself, but... Unfortunately, America does that to us, doesn't it? Um, so with Empire, if we look here, you can see they've got some experts there. Um, and then let's go, I think, I think let's go here. Uh, yeah. So this is the main tree that you get with the recruits. They've got their archers on one side. Uh, you, they've got bows and crossbows. And um, what I've with these guys is that their legionaries are amazing like these dudes right here are some real tough dudes you don't want to mess with them essentially uh, they've just got really good shields and throwing weapons and yeah and the spears I mean the spears right now are kind of not that great but once that gets sorted out I'm sure it'll be fine um, if we go to the Empire I think they've got it's yeah, it's not called the Youth, it's called the Vigla. I'm not sure what that means, it's probably Youth, but... <laughs> their um, Elite Cataphracts are really good cavalry. Uh, again, that's their Tier 6 unit, so they've got some really nice cavalry there, combined with some good infantry. So you can kind of see how different army compositions are favored by different um, factions. Um, whereas the Asari, they are more generalists. Uh, these guys, they're going to have some pretty he heavy hitting cavalry. The Asari, their cavalry is faster though, so you can kind of run around them. So you can figure out how you want to counter them knowing some of that stuff. Um, then we've got also the Kuzate right here. Of course, they're horse archers. It's all about horse archers for them. So even their um, tier 2 unit here, these guys are extremely deadly. Like... You could just have a horde of them, and you'd do okay. I and mean, you're not going to be able to take a city, but you'll be able to, in the open field, just run circles around units and just shoot them. Um, so that is what most people prefer, but you can have some footmen to, <laughs> I guess, take cities and stuff. Uh, with the Kuzay, let's see, I think... Um, where is it? There's the... Is it in the Noble Sun? Yeah, it's the Noble Sun that's their special tree. To be honest, I'm not sure what's going on with the Elites, if that's like a separate tree. I actually haven't seen that before, but these guys, they've got, of course, their best units um, mounted archers, tier 6. Very, very nice units for their uh, specialty. Sturgia, I've heard their specials are kind of messed up right now. Um, oh, they've got Husk Girls. Okay. Um, we've got the Warrior Sun. I think this is their special tree. tree. Yeah, this is their specialty tree. Yeah, I think the their polearm, um, I was reading something about how their polearm wasn't working too well. It looks like, oh yeah, because their polearm skill is so terrible. They've got a, a lance right there, but their polearm is only 60. That makes sense. Yeah, so they right now are kind of bugged. But if we go to... Um, Okay, I don't need the final unit. Okay, the, here we go. So we've got our different units right here. These dudes, um, very, very powerful in the multiplayer. I was always terrified of seeing these dudes with the bear skin. They hit pro probably the, some of the hardest hitting units in the entire game. So they'll take a city if they can, um, but they need to hide behind shields if there's archers. So you, you gotta be kind of careful with them. Um, 
Let's see. Yeah, they're Vikings. What else did you expect? They got throwing weapons and giant two-handed weapons. That's their best units. Um, so I think there's one last group that we didn't go over. The Vlandians. Best for last, right? So uh, we've got the Vlandians here. Um, they've got their crossbowmen, which is, you know, it's they're Normans. They're, they're the French. Of course, they're going to have good crossbows. Uh, they've also got some of the best cavalry in the entire game. Not these guys. These guys are pretty decent um, for filling out your cavalry. But what you really want for your cavalry is going to be the Vlandian... Um, I think they're called Banner Knights. Yeah, Banner Knight right here. So they're from Squires. So not youth, but Squire, right? And then um, you can get these units, which are incredibly, incredibly useful. Um, essentially, Lancemen. And you can see their highest skills pull arms for a reason. They're, you, you do not want to get hit by a wall of these dudes. They'll just decimate your infantry. So, uh, yeah, that's, I believe, all of the factions' main uh, troop lines. There are other things that are kind of interesting here. Um, like, they've got a couple different minor factions. You can see their troop trees. Um, and you can see like sea raiders kind of look at their different um stats and whatnot if you want to you can kind of see what weapons and armor they would they'd be set up with which you can kind of see on them and then uh you know try and recruit them or hunt them down whatever you want to do right um so yeah you can look up basically any unit including um if you have like an ally, you can kind of look up, uh, if you're talking to them, you can like talk to them and then look at their units and figure out what units they have. Also, if you want to look at someone's units in an army, let's try and find just, uh, if you hold alt, I believe this is in the tutorial, but it'll tell you the units. You can't right click on them there, but you could click on the encyclopedia and then look them up yourselves. In any case, um, I think that's pretty much everything for this tutorial. It's pretty, yeah, pretty cool stuff what you can do in this encyclopedia. Um, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.